Hello, welcome to Tim Anderson Horse Training. Today I'm going to be working with Delta Dawn. This is a horse that just came in. This will be the first time that I've worked with her. She just came in a day or two ago. The owner said that she has had a handful of rides already. Even though she's, the owner said she's had a handful of rides, I'm still going to saddle her out here. And I'm going to kind of do an abbreviated session uh, if she had not been ridden before. Just because I want to make sure she's okay with what I do. She's had a handful of rides, but I really don't know how those rides went. I'm sure my saddle is going to feel different than whatever saddle was on her when she was ridden. So we're going to kind of do a little bit of a abbreviated starting session. I'm going to put the ring snaffle on her. The owner said that when they rode her she was ridden off of a snaffle bit. I'm going to put that on her to carry it. I want it up to the corners of her mouth. Really don't want any wrinkles. And I want it to fit kind of loose in her mouth. That should be good right there. I was making sure that she didn't have any wolf teeth in the way. She should be good there. Throw the saddle up there. And the pad. I'm watching her expression. See her ears are forward. She's paying attention to some horses over there. But that ear is coming back. It's still listening to me. The ears always tell you what the horse is thinking about. We just had a lot of rain the last two days. I think we've had a little over two inches in two days. So it's pretty wet out here. But we're going to do a little bit. Do what we can. It's pretty, it's pretty slippery. But I still need to get her saddled. I'd like to get on her, see how she acts when I get on her. Give me an idea where I need to go from here. The plan for her is to go towards working cow horse. So what I need to be working towards is I need to teach her the maneuvers that she'll need to know so that I can position her correctly on a cow and then we'll start pushing some cows around. She's actually got a pretty decent sized girth. It's kind of deceiving. I'm not going to let any horse put their mouth on me like that. It's just asking for a problem in my opinion. Come on, let's do a little walk. I'm sure this saddle feels different than whatever saddle was on her. Let's tighten it up a hole. That was actually a couple of holes. It was pretty loose. Let's walk once around again. That's tight enough to stay on. Now what I want to do next, I want to move her around just a little bit with the saddle. I want to see if she hunches her back up any or if she seems relaxed about it. Grab my lunge whip over here. Not expecting her to go fast really too slippery out here to be going very fast, but I'd like her to try it a little bit. Mm. 
Thing's pretty relaxed about the saddle. We're not gonna do a lot of work out here. It's too slippery. But I will get on her and maybe walk around on her a little bit. We'll see, we'll check her steer in just a minute. I, I've asked her to go forward. She seems okay with the saddle. She's slipping a lot, so we're not gonna do too much fast. So I know she'll go forward. That part seems okay. She seems pretty good with the saddle. Next thing we're gonna check is steering. I wanna make sure I have steering before I get on any horse. So we're gonna do that next. Girl. Before I get on any horse, I want to make sure that I can control the direction. I can point their nose to the left and to the right. Get down here where it's a little flatter. It's a pretty good hill in here. I'd like for her to walk forward when I kiss. I need a go cue when I get on her back, and that's what I'd like it to be. We're gonna work that a time or two. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Now let's try the other direction. Good girl. One more time. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Now that I know she'll follow her nose pretty good. Put some reins on her. I'm going to ride her off of the halter. The owner said that they have ridden her off of the snaffle bit. But I'm actually going to attach the reins to the halter right there through the ring. That's going to have me pulling on her halter. She'll feel a little bit in the, on her mouth with the bit, but not very much. Come on. Get over here where it's a little flatter. to get her to widen her feet just a little bit from when I step up there. She's in a better position to support me. She's a short horse, but she's a pretty thick horse. She's pretty compact. Good girl. Now I'm going to start by just kind of bending her head back and forth and make sure she'll still give her head to me from up here. Good girl. 
to go the other way. Good girl. Good girl. All right, let's see if we can get a couple of steps. All we really want to do is walk. Not even going to walk a whole bunch. We're just going to walk a little bit. Good girl. Like her go cue would be a little better. I have to work on that. It's giving her head nice. Let's see if we can stay over here where it's a little flatter, be a little less slippery. Come on. Come on. Definitely need to work on her go. There we go. Good girl. There we go. Sure, this saddle feels different than whatever saddle she had on her before. See if we got any backup. Good girl. Good girl. That's all I'm going to do with her for today. I'll work her again tomorrow. It should be a lot drier tomorrow. I don't want to take a chance on her slipping and scaring her or going down or anything like that, but I wanted to get her ridden. I wanted to see where she was at for today. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching.